Uh, with Ultimate FPS version 1.6 and forward, uh, the Surface system was um, revamped to include um, Surface effects, sounds, updates to footsteps, uh, impact events, um, collisions, um, and things like that with uh, objects and players. Um, so in this video, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna go over <clears throat> some of the um, individual components that go along with that. Uh, so the first one that we're going to talk about is this uh, impact event. So an impact event, it's basically used to identify different collision types for surface effect purposes, you know, such as a blade hit or a bullet hit or a fall impact or a footstep or maybe an item drop, ragdoll drop, rigid body collision. Um, in order to create this, you will just go to Ultimate FPS, your wizards, um, and just do create an impact event. And then you can call it what you want. And then from there, um, you're, that, that's pretty much the, that, that's it for the impact events. Uh, basically, it's just an identifier. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about is the surface effects. So surface effects are scriptable objects uh, for a bunch of effects to be spawned in response to a certain type of collision, such as a bullet hitting wood or a footstep, you know, in the sand, or someone uh, falling on metal. So as we look at these, um, so the way you would create this, uh, I would suggest copying, duplicating one of these that is uh, similar to what you're after. So if you're looking for footsteps, you, know, you could duplicate one of the footstep ones. If you're looking for, you know, a jump sound, you could duplicate one of those. Um, same thing with the bullets, you could duplicate one of these. Um, the other option is to go into the Ultimate FPS, the manager for Surface, and you could create a Surface effect. So if we look at one of these, so let's look at this uh, bullet on grass. Um, so you'll notice here you have a fold out for sounds and you can increase this uh, to the different sounds that you want to add. So this will randomly play one of these four uh, sounds that are assigned. Um, you notice the minimum and maximum pitch are set to one. Um, if they're both set to one, the sound is going to be played as is. Um, otherwise, it's going to be assigned to a, a range within the pitch. So, for instance, if it's uh, one to two, the pitch will be somewhere randomly assigned between that range. Um, also, if you enable the max once per frame, um, this will... Uh, avoid any excessive sound volume on an impact, such as if you had, you know, a shotgun pellet. Um, so you'll notice here on the shotgun pellet, it says max one per frame, you know, because a shotgun, it's going to have multiple actual pellets that hit at the same time. Uh, the next, you can assign objects. So you've got machine gun bullet impact, debris, dust. Um, so if we look at the flesh, this will spawn um, like blood, blood particles. Uh, the grass, it has grass. The wood, you know, it'll um, create some splinters. And then the decal, you can also um, 
one of these will be randomly assigned. So there's four different decals for bullet on wood. All right, the next piece is a surface type. Um, so surface type, uh, same thing, you would create it with either with the manager, um, create a surface type. Um, I would highly suggest uh, using one of the defaults that came with Ultimate FPS and just modifying it from there. Um, you'll see that um, if we just look at the default, so we have this impact effects uh, foldout. And so what this will do is you can assign, you know, as many impact events and their corresponding surface effect, you know, as you need. Um, so, for instance, you'll see right here, you've got a footstep and the footstep on rock uh, surface effect is assigned. And then you've got a uh, ragdoll drop. So these are all your, these are all the defaults. So if you want to change the default sounds, and effects this is this would be where you would make your changes um, so you can see all the other ones are um, set up um, also notice on the sand so sand is a soft object so it's going to have footprints so this surface type will actually allow for footprints whereas wood will not rock is not um, you could either assign gravel or not. Uh, grass allows footprints. Um, typically, you're not going to be walking on flesh. And then the default uh, footprints are turned off. Then if we look over here at our scene manager, so the decal manager, you know, this is a per scene system for keeping a cap on the amount of decals that are in the level and it also handles uh, removing any badly placed ones. So right here we've got a, a limit of 100. So if you, if you had 101 decals, the first decal is going to disappear. It's going to fade away. Uh, this weathered, as you can see, it, this sets how many of the oldest decals will participate in a gradual process of fading over time. So if you had 50 decals in your level, they would they could stay there indefinitely. So the weathered effect um, really cut, kicks in as you start to get towards this limit or you start to go over this limit, then the decals are going to fade away. So each time a new decal is added. Uh, right here you have your placement tests. So you have cleanup over time, which is going to gradually remove decals over time. You have this instant quad corner test. It's going to evaluate whether part of the decal, so if part of your decal is hovering over, you know, the edge slightly in midair, um, it will, um, it'll test for that. Um, so depending on your platform, you may want to turn this off. If you're on mobile, maybe you don't want to uh, include this. Um, allowed stretch decals is for objects that aren't uh, a uniform scale. Um, so really, you do want to look into the manual uh, if you need to use this. Uh, the next pulled out is this uh, remove on fail. Uh, basically, it determines how badly placed decals will be removed. Um, on the surface uh, manager, I mean, this is mainly used for special cases like, you know, um, on terrains where you have multiple textures. Um, and also it handles the defaults. So whenever um, a surface type, surface identifier is not assigned. So we had the default that we mentioned earlier, and we've got the default impact event. Uh, decals is off. And then if you want to assign... Um, based, you know, surface types based on textures. This is where you would um, add a texture group and you could select the type. So like if we wanted to add a flesh one, then we could actually select it and we could add a, you know, flesh texture. And basically whenever the player uh, walks on this or 
if something impacts with this particular texture, it'll work with the flesh surface types. Um, so from there, the, the manual has a lot of information in it, and feel free to post questions on the forum. Thanks a lot.